Alright people, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda The Link to the Past. In the last video, we got some useful items that I'm going to show you right now. Not only do we have the Ice Rod, which we got in the back in the last video, but we also have the Book of Mandora and the Pegasus Shoe. Now, the first thing you might notice is that I have a green potion here. Now, remember when I said I recommend you guys to get one of those? You're going to want one of those just in case. But most notably, we're actually gonna go ahead and tackle the next dungeon because apparently that's what we're gonna need to do if my camera doesn't act up again. Okay, that's good. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that um, you're gonna have to go back here and it's where you're gonna wanna speed run a lot and avoid these evil critters attacking you. Like, seriously, they're gonna do everything in their power. And why in the world do I have the stupid item that I do not understand why I have? And that's the damn medicine. Oh well. Very weird thing, that. But most notably, you're gonna go inside here. Now, there's a lot of brush spiders here. You can't do anything with the rocks you see right here because you don't have the item that's gonna help you to lift those things up. Um, and whatever you do, do not talk to this guy because he's just basically going to say, don't bother me, I am a civilian here. And now I welcome you to a desert with no name. Um, if anybody knows the song I just tried to reference right now, go ahead and do that. Um, you may have noticed that that enemy you saw there was a vulture. Uh, the one thing about vultures, they are annoying because apparently they love to do everything in their power to attack you. And this enemy right here is called Glade Man. I don't know what they're smoking when they actually made that enemy, but anyways. Um, in here, we're going to be going to the next dungeon. However, we're blocked off by this thing. And as you can see, we can't read this gibberish writing. I mean, yes, it's Hyrulean language, but as you can see, I can't even understand what it says. But if you equip the Book of Mondora, it will say to open the way to go forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. And no, I'm not referencing the Genie of the Lamp stuff, so don't ask me to reference it. And as you can see, Linky Boy here is just praying to the man above to say, Open that door, dude! And what do you know? The door is getting open. Ding 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 ding! And thus, now we're gonna start the next dungeon here. So hopefully there's no interruptions or anything like that. We're gonna go into the next dungeon here. So, I will go ahead and do my bios. BRB. All right, people, welcome to the Desert Palace. Unlike the actual East Palace, I'm gonna do the bios for the same thing here. Um, it's different between the East and the Desert Palace here. You're gonna have to contend with three floors. There's actually four small keys you'll have to find in this dungeon. Two being on the second floor, one being on the first, and one being on the basement. Uh, same dungeon items you'll find, which is the map, the compass, and the big key. Uh, you may have noticed that I put a question mark next to the rubies, because depending on how many enemies you kill here, I won't actually know, so don't forgive me if I actually decided to put that there. You may notice that there's a new item that has a one next to it, and that's the piece of heart. Actually, this piece of heart is not in the dungeon, it's actually outside of the dungeon. But while playing this dungeon, you can actually get this piece of heart, and it's actually required to get during the dungeon when you're playing it. Um, another thing you might see is items that are recommended in this dungeon, which is the main dungeon item, because without that dungeon item, you can proceed to the first floor, which this dungeon is split up into three floors, as you can see right here. Um, you'll be starting up at the basement, but the next item you're recommended to have is going to be the lantern, which is surprising that this actual item is going to be used for something, which is on the second floor. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on to this dungeon with no name. Alright, with the entry bios gone, we're inside the Desert Palace. Now, the first enemies you see here are called Levers. What I recommend you do is you watch out for them because they will surprise you from underground. And if you stay in the same spot, they will instantly attack you. Now, this enemy here is a dick. I mean, seriously, that is a most Ow! Jerk! Uh, do what you want. You cannot kill it with anything. Not even your bombs will work against this little prick. And I'm gonna try and kill it right here. See? It will instantly hit you and that damn jerk took a cheap shot at me again. Uh, oh, you dirtbag. Get over here. Yes, go ahead and come out of the ground. And die. And give me my heart. I think you took it away from me, you stupid damn jerk. 
Um, anyways, uh, as I mentioned about the lever, they do come in two colors, which is green and purple, so you want to be careful that you, um, don't have them instantly attack you, and I wish that Beemos over there could be hit by a bomb, but it only gets killed in over a time, which I don't understand why. And this annoying enemy is a Swamella. Now, the thing about this thing is that it's going to suck you on the ground, which, um, it does not kill you. It does shoot off fireballs, which... Your shield cannot do anything right now, so um, just be careful not to get hit by it. Now, behold, the only place you will find a small key in this um, area, and that is right here. Even the Elder will tell you if you go ahead and talk to him in that white box. So, yeah, let's just get out of here. And inside this door, you will find a familiar enemy. Hello there, Igor. Thought I left you back inside the East Palace. How you doing? Ow. Oh, you little bastard. You know what? Come out of the ground. Good night. Um, okay, now you might see that there is some um, floors over here. And Ow. Did that thing just hit me? Seriously? Uh, you dirtbag. Take that. Yeah, take a pot to the face. And die. Okay, now we go here. And we get our first dungeon item, which is the map. Now, as I mentioned before, the map is going to show you exactly um, three floors, which is surprising. The first floor only has two areas. I mean, what the heck? Why did you have to come up with that many floors in this dungeon? Whatever. Um, anyways, um, you don't need to light these torches at all because it's not going to give you anything. And just to give you a heads up too, there are some doors in this um, dungeon you don't want to go to, which is one of them being right here. Because if you go to that door up at the top, um, it's going to lead to a dead end, and you're going to have to fight some um, enemies. But I'll let you know right now, there's nothing in there, you get nothing in return, so that just sucks a lot. Um, you do not want to go to the bottom of the door at the end of the corner, because if you do... Um, it's gonna lead you to a dead end, which can be kind of annoying. So let's just use the small key and go through here. Now before we can even get a chance to have that door open, we have to kill these poo-poos, which is a very, very annoying thing I hate about this dungeon. I mean, really, could we get any other enemy that can open up the door? But no, we don't. Um, in this treasure chest, we get the compass, which is gonna show us where the boss is. And that boss is all the way up there on the second floor. So, yay, and thank you for that camera. But we're just gonna charge our way through here, and ouch! Stupid cannonball, fireball, whatever the heck it is. And this is where we get the big key, so now we can get the dungeon item in here. And for those who know what the dungeon item is, I'm actually surprised Nintendo decided to put this um, accessory inside a Zelda game, which is kind of weird. And believe me, if you're gonna hear me reference a movie, trust me, you're gonna hear me say it. So let's go ahead and get that um, dungeon item right now. Uh, take that, you evil beemos, for shooting me. Here, take another pot. Uh. Oh, whoa. Uh, eat it. Yeah, you stupid jerk for shooting me at me, damn it. Um, anyways, inside this treasure chest, guess what's in here? Well, if you guys heard me say Nintendo accessory, it is the Power Glove. Is it so bad? Yes, it's so bad. Eat that, Lucas. Uh, anybody actually watch that movie, The Wizard? I mean, seriously. Ben Savage, you suck as an actor. You need to go back to the Wonder Years. Um, the thing to note about the Power Glove is that it's going to help you to lift boulders that are light green. So, um, this is the item that you need in order to continue to the next part of the dungeon. But, uh, I'm not breaking the fourth wall or any more. Let's go ahead and just move on. And just get away from these, um, Swamellas because they're going to annoy us sometime. And we just run. Ouch. Damn stupid idiot. Uh, we're just gonna run away from you guys now in the door up there I'm gonna let you know right now there are some fairies if you want to go ahead and get them and this Beemos is just circling around ready to try to hit me uh-huh you can't hit me dude you missed and the only way you're gonna open up that door is to hit that um, switch up here uh, you don't have to light the torches up there but you know what my bottle is empty right now and I'm gonna get myself a fairy 
and you biatches, get over here. Stop running away. Oh no, I did not want that. There we go. Get him a bottle. Okay, now with that out of the way, run from the beam so that way he doesn't attack us. I'm going to take a cheap shot. And now we're going to get out of here in camera. Please, don't act up. Thank you. Um, anyways, we go all the way down here. This is where the piece of heart is, right next to that vulture. But we really don't want him to attack us. Now, the reason why I said you need the power glove is right here. Because if you don't have the power glove, you're not going to get to the next part of the dungeon, which is in here. And I'm going to de-equip my stupid bug catching net since I got the fairy. And now we're going into the next dungeon here. And we're going to be introduced to a Beemos who wants to take a cheap shot at us. Haha, <laughs> missed us. And then we're going to have to open up the door by pushing this forward. And then we have this annoying enemy called Tiles. Now you can use your boomerang if you want to to dodge this enemy. But I'll let you know right now, this guy is a jerk. And later on in the dungeon, you're going to have to contend with this damn guy. And I highly recommend you have at least two fairies with you so you don't get killed by this evil dickhead. And again, we have to deal with these damn poo poos before the damn door opens. I mean, come on, Miyamoto, could you ever come up with another enemy that can get killed faster by this damn thing? And don't even try to run into me, you damn evil poo poo. Now in here, we have the worst part of the dungeon, and that is these damn Beemos being on the way of attacking me. Oh boy. Oh god, protect me from the evil beams. Yes, you stupid poo poos. Oh my god, don't hurt me. And just get the key in here as fast as you can. And go through the door. Now you may have also noticed that there was some green armos back in the first basement. And now we have its brethren, the red armos. Now we just kill it. And now you might be thinking, hmm, wait a minute. The door is over here, where's the boss? Well, remember when I said you needed the lantern as the main dungeon item? Well, you need to equip that lantern of yours and just light these doors up here. And the door is going to be moving by itself. But, you'll see that the door to the boss has been revealed. So let's go ahead and just get some items real quickly. And as you can see, you saw arrows there, so you want to make sure you have your arrows ready, because this boss is not really as annoying as the next boss coming up, but we get to fight off against the dungeon boss, and the dungeon boss is the giant Lemos, and these guys come in three packs. Now the giant Lemos, what they're going to do first is they're going to shoot rocks coming out of there when they come out of the ground. And you want to be careful because when you leave one alone, um, that evil jerk will be shooting um, eight rocks at you. You see, ouch, I got hurt. Oh, oh, what the heck? I got hurt. Ah, yikes. Ah, these guys are such a dick. There, take that. Take that. Take that. Oh, and I missed it. I don't know how many arrows it takes to kill this thing, but I can tell you right now, arrows are the best thing to use against this dirt bag. Ow, you bastard. Hey, stop dodging my arrows. Oh, gods, am I going to die in this part? I hope I don't die. Alright, one down, two more to go, and you're gonna die. Hey, I said die, I didn't tell you live. Alright, just one more to go, I can do this. Trust me, in the last video I actually got killed by this evil jerk, and there we go, and he took a cheap shot at me after he died, seriously. But, we get our next heart container. And we obtain the Blue Pendant of Power. Just one more to go and we can get the Legendary Master Sword. As spoken right here, what this person is going to tell us. Hooray, you won the Pendant of Power. Your goal of finding the three pendants is in sight. 
Go for the last one, which I just said. Thank you for that. Victory pose, and don't mess up on me, camera. Well, you kind of did a little bit, but anyways. Um, as you can see, now that this dungeon is done, we're going to go to our next dungeon, which is all the way up here. And I'm going to let you guys know right now, in the next video, or two, I think, this dungeon is going to be annoying. And please forgive me if my quality is going to be bad in the next video, but with this video done and almost flawless victory, we can take a sigh of relief that... We beat it the last the dungeon or something. And we're going to cut it here. So, if you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, white yellow box. Thumbs up on the video and comment at the bottom of the video. And I will see you guys in the next video when we tackle the next dungeon. Which is the Tower of Hera. See you guys later.